A common question in the day-to-day running of a business whilst using Xero is how to add a chart of account. Now, this normally happens when someone's raising a bill or raising a sales invoice and they want just a different code. They want to post it to a different thing that they don't already have in the back end of Xero. Now, in this video, I'll quickly show you how to add that. Now, there's two ways of doing it. So I'll show the first way is from the dashboard. So when you log into Xero, this will be the screen that you see. Now, to add a chart of account, if you click where it says your company name, you click settings and it will take you to this stage here. Now, what you want to do is you want to click this little hyperlink advanced settings. If you click advanced settings, you will see I've already got it starred chart of accounts. Now, I'd recommend also starring this. So what will happen is when you click accounting at the very bottom, it would appear there for you. So if you click chart of accounts, this will open up every single nominal code that you have in the back end of your business. Now, what I'd recommend is finding a similar type of code for where you want to place it. For instance, if you wanted credit card fees, you could put it in 405 just underneath next to bank fees. So what I'll do is I'll show you how to add it. At the top, you'll see this button that says add account. If you click that, it'll bring forward a pop up. Now, it's fairly straightforward and once you've done one, you'll be able to do it all the time. So in the account type, it will bring assets, equity, expenses, liabilities and revenue. Now, for the sake of what we're going to do is we are going to add an expense. So we're going to add an expense. We're going to put in the code that we want and we've just found out. So we're going to put it next to bank fees just so the like, banking charges are grouped together. Type in a reasonable name. Description, you don't really need it. Um, I, if anything, I'd like you kind of can put something like just to jolt your memory of what it is, um, but a lot of the time it's left blank. When it says 20%, you can change the VAT depending on what sort of scheme. Or if, you, if you're VAT registered, you leave it at 20%, um, and then you change it when you like, deal with the actual transaction. Um, for this case, because it's going to be a credit card fee, it is going to be exempt. So I'm going to put exempt and save. And that's it. That code will now be usable in when you go to post a transaction. So if I take you back to the dashboard. Again, I'm running a demo company. So just for the sake of showing you. Say this was a credit card charge. If you now type in 405, it, the credit card fee charge will appear there. Um, so when you post it, it will go to that nominal code in the back end. Now, the second way you can add it is if you're actually already in uh, like a bills to pay or a sales invoice. So <clears throat> if you're uploading a sales invoice or you're uploading a bill and what was happening is you put in the description, you put in everything there and you were like, actually, you don't have a nominal code that relates to what you've just bought or what you're just about to sell. So what you can do is from this screen here, you can click there and it will be at the top, add a new account. Now, if you click that, it will bring you exactly the same pop-up and you can do exactly the same thing. And then, yeah, you can post there straight away. I hope this helps. Um, adding a new chart of account is easy uh, after, like I said, you've done one and you just know where the buttons are. Um, obviously, this is very different from when you first start a zero. Uh, I would never recommend doing uploading one chart of account per time. I would recommend an import. Um, but yeah, if you need any help, give us a shout.